This video is going to show you how you can check your system's RAM using inbuilt tools in Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is handy if you're having problems with your system crashing, i.e. blue screen of death, your system freezing, or apps just generally crashing, or your system just generally misbehaving. Now, there could be other causes of this, but a RAM check is a good place to start. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, if your system is generally misbehaving, if it's crashing, if you're getting blue screens of death, if it's freezing periodically, if apps are crashing out, then it's good to do a memory test on your computer. And to do this, all you have to do is move your mouse over the start button, click on it, and then type on your keyboard memory. And as you're typing it, you should see under best match, Windows memory diagnostics should appear. Move your mouse over that, left click once, and then it says here, check your computer for memory problems. Memory problems can cause your computer to lose information or stop working. You've got two options here. Restart now and check for problems, recommended, or save your work and close any open programs before restarting. Or check for problems the next time I start my computer. Well, it's a good idea to check now. So let's just click on restart now and check for problems. The computer will restart and once it's rebooted, hopefully it will run the memory check. There we go. So Windows memory diagnostic tool has appeared. Let this run through. As you can see, it's saying run running test pass one of two. So it's going to run the test twice. Now, if you want to run the test for longer, then you can press F1 on your keyboard and then go down to pass count there and change it to a maximum of 15 times. Or you can lower it to one time if you want to. I would say, first of all, try running it two times. If it doesn't glean anything, then try running it 15 times just by changing the two to 15 and then press F10. And there we go. It should now run the test 15 times. If you are running the test, then just cut pop back occasionally and just check the status. As you can see on mine, it actually says no problems have been detected yet. Although the test may appear inactive at times, it is still running. Please wait until testing is complete. And then it goes on to say Windows will restart the computer automatically test results will be displayed again after you log on. Now, if you do want to change any other options, press the F1 key and here you've got the test type. So you can use the up and down arrow keys to select the type of test. So you can have a basic test, you can have a standard test or an extended test. Obviously, if the standard test doesn't glean any problems, and you're sure that it is the RAM that's causing the problem, then try an extended test. If you press the tab key, you can move on to the cache. I would say leave that on default and press the tab again. And there you go. You go down to the pass count and you can choose how many times you want the test to run up to a maximum of 15 times. When you're ready to accept what you've selected, press the F10 key and it will then continue with the tests. Once the tests have run, the system will reboot. So there you go. It comes up after a few minutes. Windows memory diagnostic, no memory errors were detected. But if they were on yours, then it would come up otherwise. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can test your Windows RAM to test for any problems with it using Windows own inbuilt tools. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not help support this channel? Have a look in the description down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, please consider purchasing through these links as it really does help support me and gives me more time to bring great videos to you. 
Also, whilst you're here, why not stick around? Have a look around my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And don't forget, if you haven't done so already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel to find out about all my latest videos the second they're released.